you will certainly uh, coincide with Laylatu Laylatu Al Qadr. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new vlog or chit chat on One Baba Salam. This is our fourth episode of Ramadan 2023 vlog series. And tonight I'm shooting it at the same location, Masjid Siti Alam, Siti Alam, Shah Alam, Malaysia. And tonight is the night of 19th Ramadan. 19th Ramadan. Yeah, tonight is the night of 19th Ramadan. And today, actually, I am grieving. I'm grieving because we lost one of my sisters in law. My sister in law has just passed away today, early in the morning, uh, back in Singapore. And circumstances does not allow me at the moment to be to be there, and therefore I was not there when she passed away. Even though I was closely, like physically uh, uh, present, Subhanallah, wa qadrallahu ma sha'a ma sha'a fa'al. I have been contemplating making this video even though if, uh, since I have scheduled it. Uh, should I? Should I not? Eventually, I decided to make this video for two reasons. Life will continue. Uh, those behind behind should learn to uh, to accumulate more with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and hopefully, uh, something also to benefit her, even though she is no longer with us. Now, I'm not going to say anything good about her because if I'm to 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 say the good things. We can only pray and hope and assume based on signs that Allah's signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted her a good ending. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, based on what we have seen, it was a good ending, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants her paradise and forgives her uh, wrongdoings, shortcomings, and uh, be pleased with her. One thing I can only share is while she was in severe pain while she was in severe pain she said to my wife who was taking care of her uh, i wish to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i wish to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how i wish to meet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i said to my wife to convey to her the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man ahabba liqa allah ahabba allah liqa'a Whoever loves to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah also in return loves to meet him. And whoever hates to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in return Allah hates to meet, to meet him. When we are in pain, most of the time we lose our mind. But here we are, someone in severe pain says, I wish to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the patience she has, she has shown, the yaqeen she has shown, uh, the tawakkul she has shown, in addition to the charity uh, she has made, is, is amazing. It's amazing. If you are watching this video, this is a humble request. You may be watching it tonight. You may be watching it tomorrow. You may be watching it a week later, a month later, a year later, 10 years later, 20, 30, 100 years later. If you, are, if you come across this video, hum, I humbly request that you pause and make dua for Hawami binti Omar. Make dua for Hawami binti Omar. And after that, make dua for all Muslim deceased ones. And also make dua that Allah grants every living Muslim a good ending. And I hope this uh, dedication of dua is a, uh, uh, is a karama for her and honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to honor her with it because I didn't plan it. I didn't plan it. But here we are. Allah has inspired it. So this is, uh, I hope it goes into her, uh, her basket of sadaqah jariyah. She, last Ramadan, she was with us in Ramadan. This Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr, she was looking forward, but Laylatul Qadr, because we are going to talk about Laylatul Qadr, and then she just passed away if a few days before Laylatul Qadr. I'm making this video. Please pause, make dua for Hawami binti Umar, and for all deceased Muslims, as well as that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us good ending. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make any Laylatul Qadr, every Laylatul Qadr in the future, grants her barakah of that Laylatul Qadr, 
uh, uh, grant Hawami bint Umar also the baraka of that Laylatu Laylatu Al Qadr. Different people uh, attain rewards differently. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has in, uh, inspired this for her, so let's consider it as an honor for her. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala inspire. Uh, something good for you, something good for us and all of us and grant us good ending. Our topic tonight is how to secure Laylatul Al Qadr. There are three simple ways to secure Laylatul Al Qadr. Uh, the, 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 the two of them have probability of success and only one has secured and guaranteed uh, 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 probability, uh, guaranteed chance of success. So the first is to observe Laylatul Al Qadr on the 27th night of uh, of Ramadan, the mosque will be crowded, overcrowded, and many will flock to the mosques on the night of 27th of Ramadan. Simply because there are narrations and there are uh, hadith that uh, 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 imply that that is the night of Laylatul Laylatul Qadr. If you hold onto that opinion then you have one probability of attaining Laylatul, Laylatul Qadr. The second option for hunting for Laylatul Qadr is to uh, hunt for it on the odd nights of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. That is the night of 21, the night of 23, the night of 24, 25, the night of, tw the night of 27, and the night of 29 of Ramadan. If you are able to observe Qiyam, prayers, dua, dhikr, in any of these nights, you have certainly coincided with Laylatul Al Qadr. But the problem is, what if you miss one day? Then there is also probability that you are missing. The third option for hunting for Laylatul Al Qadr, and which is the secured one and requires more focus, is that to go all out in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. That is starting from two days to go, uh, to go, the night of 21st, all the way to the end of Ramadan, which may be, which may be 10 nights or maybe 9 nights if Ramadan uh, uh, finishes with 29 days. That way, not only you secure 27, if Laylatul Qadr happens to be 27, or you secure uh, the odd nights if Laylatul Qadr happens to happen in one of the five odd nights of, Laylatul, uh, of the last 10 nights of Ramadan, you also secure Laylatul Qadr if there was possibly or probably mistake in calculation in the mood, uh, mood, mood sighting. Meaning that the night of 21 may probably be 20 or 22. And simply because there was miscalculation or mistake in the calculation whatsoever, or the, the moon was not sighted or the moon, of, the moon was sighted and whatnot. If you observe, uh, uh, you go all out in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, you will certainly uh, coincide with Laylatul Laylatu Al Qadr. So much so that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the last 10 nights he will go into Atikaf. He will go into isolation at the mosque and will not go out until the day of, until the day of Eid. Now, three options to hunt for Laylatul Qadr. I will certainly suggest that the last option, which is to go all out in the last 10 nights, or the second option to, to, to in, intensify in the, uh, the, the odd nights of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Now, coinciding with, with Laylatul Qadr is something, and also succeeding in attaining it is something else. And the conditions that are needed for that is three of them. Iman, uh, expectation of rewards and effort. One must have Iman. One must know why he is fasting. Therefore, why he is observing Laylatul Qadr. Number two, he must expect his reward from Allah, from Allah alone. And then number three, he must put in the effort. Oh, I believe and I want reward, but I go to sleep. Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months combined. In that night, from the from the the, the the Maghrib of that night until the next morning, Fajr, angels will occupy our our world under the leadership of of Jibril. 
salamun hi and it will be filled with with it will be filled with uh with 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 peace allah akbar allah akbar La ilaha illallah Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi ajma'in Allahumma rabba hadhi al-da'wati al-tamah wa salati al-qa'imah Ati Muhammadan al-wasilat al-fadila wa ba'athu maqaman mahmudin al-lazhi wa'antah Rabbana atina fi dunia hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al-naw Now, we mentioned three things are needed for successful Laylat al-Qadr if one coincides with it so just coinciding is not enough, but fulfilling the requirements. The being, being a believer, expecting rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and putting in the effort. One cannot just believe, expect reward and just remain asleep and expect to uh, succeed in attaining the blessings of Laylatul Qadr. And do not waste your time hunting or searching for the signs of Laylatul Qadr. Just go all out for the night and whichever it is and after all the signs can only be seen after uh, in, the, in the next day. What will one do with knowing the signs when he has not at all observed the night of Laylatul Al-Qadr itself? Alright, so we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us the opportunity to live and witness Laylatul Al-Qadr. If he takes us away before that, we pray that he grants us good ending. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا أو فاعف عني and this is the the most prominent dua the Muslim should observe when he observes the night of ليلة القدر اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني أو فاعف عنا أو الله you are forgiving you love forgiveness so please forgive me اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا I will leave some links to some videos and articles in the description from gsalam.net as well as from Al Bushra by by gsalam for your for your reference so with that we come to to the end of this video I leave you in Allah's protection until the next see you and see you in Jannah والسلام عليكم أتيتك يا خالقي باكيا ودمع الأسى كل حين يزيد فقد قلت في الآي لا تقنط وإن تعف عني فذا يوم عيد وإن تعف عني فذا يوم عيد